to my channel. So today I have another freezer meal idea and the last time I did just three of these meals in one video, you guys really seem to appreciate that because it's not super overwhelming. It's something that's very doable to do like in an afternoon or you know an hour or two in a morning and you're not having to dedicate a whole day like I do about twice a month to doing a lot of little things here and there. It's three like full meals that you can just stick in the oven and or in the crock pot like we're gonna do today and you can have dinner or a meal really, really fast. So what we're gonna do today is actually a little different than I did the last time I did three meals. Um, the last time I did three meals, I did oven meals. So I did them in like disposable pans. I will link that video below. But today we're gonna do them in Ziploc bag. Also, if you're a large Family, you can definitely double these recipes and you could do multiple of the same recipe if you're getting ready to have a baby or you're making it for somebody that's gonna get surgery soon or something like that these are super 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 simple and I will leave the recipes below so let's go ahead and get started all right the first one I'm gonna put together is some chicken fajitas that are for the slow cooker uh, this all goes into a ziploc like I said super super simple so I have three bell peppers here preferably not green I prefer to have like the red yellow and orange for the fajitas you're supposed to have a lime but I'm gonna use some lemon juice I don't have a lime right now and I'm just gonna go with the lemon a nice onion um, some garlic and this is the first time I think in my last video I used these as well but this is the first time that I've had the peeled garlic and the only reason I grabbed them is just because they saved me a little bit of time but it's definitely a lot cheaper to buy just the regular garlic uh, bulbs so I'll probably just do that the next time then the spices that go in it are paprika chili powder ground cumin and red pepper you could obviously scale back on some of this if you don't want it to be too spicy and then you add a little bit of honey I'm gonna go ahead and cut up the chicken and the veggies See how simple that was? I love doing this style of food prepping because you're not pre-cooking and it's so fast and so easy but just saves a lot of headache or even just thinking about what you're gonna have for dinner because it's already sitting in the freezer. So this one is really, really simple. I will leave the link below for it. And I realized that I actually only want about half, like I'm probably gonna take this and make it into two separate bags. I didn't realize how big of a pork loin I got. And um, the one I'll do green beans with and the other 
one I'll just do a marinated pork loin, but I'm going to be doing a honey Dijon mustard kind of glaze for over it. And is this will be another quick, simple meal. Actually, it'll make two at least uh, meat portions for meals. This last one is my own recipe. I think I have a highlight saved on my Instagram account where I explain how I make this. I make it different kind of every time. So I'm gonna tell you how I'm going to make it today. This is my first time doing it as like a freezer meal, but I think it's gonna be really great. It's definitely one of Corey's favorites. So you need a chuck roast. I like to do carrots as well. And then I also like to cut up an onion. So you put all of that in a bag. Since I'm gonna be doing this in the freezer and not just setting this on top of it, I'm actually gonna cut this stick of butter up. The butter is the key, so it makes it taste really good. And then I'm gonna put about three tablespoons of this sauce in, some paprika, and some salt. I'm just gonna shake that in, and then it will be all ready. And then when I go to make it and dump it all into the crock pot, um, and then I let it sit in for six to eight hours, depending on how low your crock pot goes. I will also add probably about a half cup to a cup of water to it as well. And there you have it. In less than an hour, you can have three meals whipped up, ready to go. You can pull them out of the freezer and they're really simple, simple, simple. So I would just pop these out, let them sit for a few minutes, then probably like break up the vegetables if they have been kind of frozen together, just so you can get everything out of the bag and put them into the crock pot. Both of these I would do on low for like six to eight hours. And then this one, um, I probably would do on low for maybe six hours. It may not even take that long. But the other thing you can do with this is also throw it into a frying pan. You do not have to do this in the uh, crock pot if you don't want to, but it's just convenient because whenever you reach dinner time, it's done in the crock pot. You can pull out some tortillas and just have some quick chicken fajitas that are really full of flavor. I hope this video inspired you. Let me know in the comments if you have any specific recipes that you would like me to try out in some upcoming videos. If you're new here, I'd love it if you hit the subscribe button and joined my channel. I do a lot of mommyhood, homemaking, and that style content. And don't forget to give this video a like. I'll see you guys in my next video.